Hello, and welcome back to Fury. I am not going to play against the flame today because I already have. I decided to not try and record and fight the flame at the same time and do it live because there was too much I wanted to talk about and I got a really cool uh, like tip suggestion in the comments which helped out a ton. So I started implementing that. I figured out the last attack, that one that I thought was really hard to get into that little sliver. It actually isn't that bad at all. Actually isn't bad at all at all, because I figured out a completely reliable way of doing that, which is super simple. And I also got more accustomed to the whole like cancelling attacks thing and stuff like that. But I still didn't get a super good run. I just recorded it over a couple of attempts, and I'm not super satisfied, but it'll have to do. Maybe in the future I might do something, like try to get a better one, but I still don't really like the fight too much, because it feels very RNG dependent, and there are some situations where you just can't avoid an attack. If you're in like a bad spot, or he's in a bad spot, or he just, I, I don't even know, plus the whole close range dodging thing, I just... I've been complaining so much about it, but honestly, it just feels so bad to me. We might go into why in just a second, but I'm gonna do some post-commentary on that, so I haven't done it yet, so hopefully it turns out well. So enjoy! Here's the flame S-rank on Furrier mode, and then we'll continue on with Bernard and stuff. Alright, post-commentary! Hello! You'll have to excuse me if I say something I've already said in the intro here, because I'm recording this like after recording the, this episode and one more, so it's a bit confusing for me. But yeah, the, I wanted to go over a couple of main things, so like this run is not great, I wasn't super happy about it, but there are a couple of things that I learned that I wanted to talk about, and mainly one thing that I received as a tip right there. From one of you, a really cool suggestion that I had never thought of. You can just sort of prime your combos to land the fourth hit of your combo when they're downed in the long range phases, so that you knock them down and then you can boost in order to get the, uh, the, the boost off like right away and basically finish close range phases super super quickly, which is really cool. I knew that you could knock them down and then boost, but I, I'd never, it had never occurred to me that you could just like prime it by whiffing, like purposefully whiffing your three first attacks, which is super cool. So thank you for that tip. The rest of this is mainly just me cancelling faces like that, just the, the little tiny shots, because uh, I learned that it's a bit more consistent to just like cancel them over and over and just parry the attacks and deal with these major event style attacks, so to speak. Because, yeah, this is, like, not bad at all to avoid, but finding out what kind of attack he's doing from long range and whether you can dodge it or not or get behind him, it's just kind of inconsistent. And, yeah, there I get it again. Sometimes I miss it and then there's not enough time, and that was also just kind of a bullshit dodge. Couldn't dodge because I was in the corner. It didn't dodge where I was supposed to. Really annoyed by that. Uh, what was I saying? I don't even know. This is going to be super scatterbrained because I'm just doing this in one take, just looking at the thing. Don't really have too much to say, so I'll just comment on the things that like pop up, but there are a couple more things I wanted to mention. Well, actually, ma mainly one thing, but we'll see when it comes to that. It's like the last phase. Uh, but yeah, if you miss the first four hit priming thing, it's not worth going for another one because you just don't have the time to prime three more hits, I find. Maybe you do, but I'd never go for it. It's just too risky. And yeah, this face just always relaxes me when I see it, because it's like, hey, I just get free damage. There I miss it, so I just go into it normally. Bit unfortunate. I don't know what happened there. Here I actually found out, I've never done this before. You can just lie down on the ground and have invulnerability frames. I just realized, like, as I played it right here, that, oh, I can just stay down. 
and wait for the attack to be over, which is kind of cool. Oh, and yeah, here is a thing as well that I don't do too well. There are a lot of mistakes in this fight. I definitely am not very proud of this. I could improve it, but it would take a lot of grinding. But here in this phase, uh, we'll see if we can see it. I do... Yeah, I cancel that. I can block that projectile that he blocks back at me, but I don't do that in this one. And let's see. Yeah, I, I'm purposefully baiting out that laser attack because it just leaves him open. I kind of like that. Yeah, I should parry there. And he, I'm not really doing the thing I I meant to comment on. Maybe that's next phase. That's probably next phase. Because, yeah, you can see we've done, like, a ton of damage now before he's even started doing that attack. Which normally he's, like, halfway when, when I do that. So it seems like this is a lot faster and more reliable. Here, my dashing just kind of messed up again, like the the direction of my dashing just didn't work out. It's like the tank control thing of the dash. I just... I want to dash where I hold the stick, but he doesn't, so it's, it's kind of annoying. Here, I was hardcore panicking, so I kept attacking after each dash, even though I knew he was invulnerable. Somehow managed to avoid it, though. And yeah, then you just give me free damage. Always nice when they taunt. I don't know if there's a pattern to that, or if it's just random luck. Yeah, here. Right? It's here? No? I think it was... I can't even remember. But the, the thing I wanted to say is that when he does the, like, one hit and then a wave attack uh, in the long range phase, what you should do is block the hit while you continue to shoot him, and then you dash behind him as he's doing the wave. Because I wasn't doing that. I was doing either or. Either I shot him and then got hit by the wave, or I just stopped shooting and waited for the wave and just dashed behind him then. So you can get some more, like, optimized damage there. And yeah, didn't even have to do that face here. And there we go, got the priming thing again. I'm gonna officially dub it Boost Priming. It's probably not called that. It probably has a name somewhere. I actually haven't seen it, though. It's kind of interesting. I've never seen it in uh, speedruns. I've watched a couple of speedruns a while back when I did the series, but I never saw anyone do that, so... I don't know if it's, like, recently discovered or if it's just not efficient in terms of time usage or, or what. But yeah, here we go. Already last phase. So I guess I'll just explain it now, because I won't have time later on. The, uh, the trick to the last thing, the getting into the tiny sliver of the, the wave attack at the end, is not to try and go left or right to perfectly dash into the, the sliver. What you do is you just dash across him, because the, the way the, the waves always are shaped is that they're always in like a, a triangle pattern. So there's a safe spot to your left, to your right, and right behind him, no matter where you start from, because he just aims it at you. So no matter what happens, you can just do a straight dash into him, which is always reliable, because uh, if you dash towards or away from the enemy in a close range phase, it just goes straight. It's when you dash like sideways or kind of half, half directions. Also, this is kind of bullshitty. Just a random last wave attack before I could get in there. But yeah, those dashes are kind of fishy and I think are kind of bad. But the straight ones, like towards or away, are perfectly fine. So that's why you'll see this is completely reliable. Just like that, you just dash across. And that's it. Again, not a perfect fight. I'm pretty sure I could get a perfect fight, but that would probably require a lot of luck. But I'm pretty happy. So, see you in the, the main episode, trying to fight Bernard. Oh god. So there you have it. As I said, not a huge fan of the flame, but I still do like him, kind of. I I have a very... I have a love-hate relationship with him. Because when everything goes right, he feels super satisfying. But as I said, sometimes it just feels like there is nothing you can do. Absolutely nothing. You just can't avoid certain attacks, and your dashes just don't go where they should, and that's just kind of frustrating, and man, 
I don't even know. I bitched enough. But I also wanted to show you sort of, I think I, I'll be able to show you. If we just go into promenade and skip the beginning, I've kind of figured out why I don't like the dashing in close range mode. It's, I don't know, it's very hard to show. It's kind of just you have to feel it, you have to play the game to realize what I'm talking about. If you even agree with me, maybe you think the close range dashing is totally fine. But for me, it just feels horribly inconsistent. And let's see if I can show that, because there's a weird thing with it. So, since we're in Promenade, this is going to be pretty easy. I can just kill this guy fairly quick. Okay, that was very quick. No. There we go. And enter. And now, if I just try to dash around a little bit, it's like... You can see there, uh, the, the second dodge, I actually held, like, straight down. But I dashed in a in a wave to the right, or like a curve to the right, because it seems like when you're in close range, it always tries to sort of orient you around the uh, central axis, but it just sometimes doesn't really work. It's like it's a bit inconsistent. Sometimes it works perfectly, like oh, I hold up to the left and it dashes me up to the left, or down to the right and it dashes me down to the right. But very occasionally, I don't know exactly when it is, but sometimes, like there, exactly like there, I actually held straight down and it dashed me straight across him, which would have gotten me killed if there was a wave right there. So there's something about that which I just really, really don't like. And I I actually am very surprised they haven't like fixed it because that seems just flat out wrong to me. But I don't know, I maybe I'm just one person or, as I said, I would love if, love it if there was a an option for it. So you could have that, like, the uh, center-oriented thing in close-range combat. Or make the dashing just purely depend on your input. So if you input straight up, you will go straight up no matter where you are in the circle. I think that would be kind of cool. Or even just, like, maybe not that, maybe have another option where... If you hold straight up, you will go towards the straight uppest most point of the circle. Which, it doesn't feel like it does now, all the time. Because that would also make sense if you then hold down to the left. Wherever you are in the circle, you would try to dash the distance that you can towards the, the bottom left of the circle. That would make sense, but I don't know. Complained enough already, and I've talked enough already. Oh my god, we're not gonna have time for fucking Bernard. Let's get into it. Let's start Bernard and see... Oh right, no, I have to check the uh, artwork for the flame. I haven't done that. The flame. There we go. There's no other comments or anything. It's just colored. Bit simple shading and stuff. Alright. Well, that didn't take too long. Now, let's try Bernard. No idea what this guy is. Let's, let's just find out and let's not waste any more time. Hopefully he's not as annoying as the flame. Okay. What is this? It's just a normal... Oh, you can just parry that. That's not bad. And you can just parry that too? You can't parry that. Okay. Okay, so it's just like... It's a fight they just made purely... Uh, like mechanically they didn't bother making it an actual character or putting a story on him or anything. What the heck? How can you avoid that? Ah oh, man, yeah, I'm not parrying these very well Now oh, have to dash to him there Okay, that's not bad. He has the uh, the voice of uh, the chain for some reason. Okay. Bit confused so far. Wow, he has a lot of faces. Oh my god. This is gonna take a while. Okay. That's not too bad. That takes a long time for him to wind up. So that's not terrible. Damn, couldn't dash in time there. Oh, 
Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Do I want to be shooting? Oh my god. Shooting while I do all this? Yeah, it seems like it. He doesn't stop. Oh god. Oh dear. He doesn't stop his attacks just because I uh, shoot him while he's doing them. Okay. So again, the trick that I learned, really, really good trick. Thanks again for- holy shit! Fuck! Thanks for letting me know about that, that's really cool. Oh, a unique repost animation. What? What just happened? He just like, parried me or something. I have no idea what just happened. Ah, you can just dash across and he can't turn quick enough. But what just happened in that one attack? I don't even know. Okay, just listen to the sound. Don't even look at where he is. And you can parry that. Ow. I can just parry that. That's fine. Hmm. Lots of teleporting around. What now? What's going on? Oh god. Uh, I can shoot him here, so I probably want to... No, I can't shoot him there. There's like no way you can... Maybe with uh, charge shots, I wonder. It's possible that you can hit charge shots there. Oh, fuck. Damn. Ah, crap. Downed. Well, that's fine. So far, it's a very interesting fight. Ah, didn't do the half charge. Nope, can't even do charge shots. Alright, guess I just dash around in this then. I mean, I guess that's not too bad. I wonder if you can do damage during it somehow. Man. Damn it. Damn it! Ah, he just teleported in the same spot three times. I was expecting him to move. Hmm, yeah, this face is really hard to actually land hits on. He just, like, teleports away and covers himself with bullets and stuff. It's very hard to land any hits on him. Ah, oh, fuck. Waited too long. Yeah, I don't really see any point shooting here. There probably is a way you can do damage, but I, I can't see it. There we go. Damn, didn't get the thing. Okay, same as in the outer face. Hate when they're near the edges like this. Ow, okay. Whoa! I couldn't really avoid that. He was like in the corner. Again. Like they always are. 
All right, cool attacks though. I'll need some practice to learn all this. What's happening? Oh, it's like the, who was, what was that guy called again? The scale. And now he has a massive combo. It is like the scale, yeah, this is the, the scale face. Ah, oh, crap. You can probably parry that if I get really close. Well, not not that one. I have to, like, learn to distinguish them. Damn it, didn't get the trick. But, oh, no, do it. Oh, jeez, that was close. No, you... God damn it, asshole. <laughs> that stinks. Oh man, I'm not even halfway done yet. This guy, holy crap, this guy is gonna take so long to do. I might have to have like multiple episodes per attempt on this guy. Jesus. Four hit. Yeah, no, not that one. That's not the one I want to do. And I failed the trick again. Four hit combo again. He's fairly consistent, at least. Damn. I don't, oh, I don't know how to deal with that. That's too many... Too many waves. Just two waves? Okay, just... Okay, alright. That shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. Just dash back after each one. Yeah, it's just like a scale face. It really feels like he's just the scale. Oh yeah, and then attack after the third one. Alright, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. What the hell was that dash? I tried to go back the way I came and it just dashed me like the opposite way. God, I hate the dashing in close range phases. And now he's like... Who is that? Wait, this seems familiar. Is that like... Uh... The line? Ah, oh, shit. Who am I thinking of? Someone like... With a staff or something? That does the, the sweeping attacks? Like, after you uh... Ah, oh, I can't remember. I don't know who he is right now. The hand? No. Is it the hand? Oh my god, this is actually kind of hard to avoid. This is very hard to avoid. Oh no. Alright, that's not bad. That seemed a lot scarier than it was. Well, was a bit scared there. And just one, it's like an easier, the flame. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, so you probably dash across him there. That's probably much better. Man, I really don't know if I, I can have all this in one episode. Honestly, we, we'll see how long I survive. I feel like I'm gonna die soon, but I might actually have to, like, split this up into two episodes. Because of the, uh, the flame fight as well. Oh, and then in the center, okay. Oh, and a delay there. Hmm. Who is that like? That's like the song. Yeah, this is like the song. And I can't do any damage. I just have to, like, survive or uh, avoid stuff. Oh, man. I'm not sure I can. Nope. 
Don't laugh at me, you ass. Ah, I even accounted for the delay and still didn't get it. Damn. There we go. Oh, and I parried too, or uh, reposted too early. Weird laser sound. There we go. Three, okay, but you don't dash across on that one. Four again. Oh, and, like, the song, you can parry it. Okay. What? I killed him? What happened? How did I do that much damage? And now it's the burst. Okay. It's like fucking Phantom Ganon. Ooh, all right. Oh God, double. Didn't think it would be a double. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I should probably do two dashes there. I'm, like, so close to dying every face. Oh, what now? Yeah, that's, like, the burst again. Oh, and then I have to go in. All right. Oh, shit. And then out again. Oh, man. This is, like, harder than the burst. Well, actually, I guess you can just walk or No. Can you just walk around? Hmm. It seems a bit awkward. Damn it! Too late. What the hell? That was, like, different. The timing was really different there. Okay, alright, and there we go. Alright, I'm just gonna say, let don't give up. I, I'm, I'm giving up. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'll leave it there for today, and we'll redo all of this, this entire guy, next time. He's fun, I like him, but man, that's one hell of an endurance fight. I wanna talk more about him, but I'm not gonna do it today. We'll talk more about him later. Hope you enjoyed this episode, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!